I know what you're all thinking right now. He didn't fulfill the Asian prophecy. Didn't become a doctor, accountant, or a lawyer. He's a magician. I wonder what his father said. This is what his dad said when he told him he wanted to be a magician. The hell, you want to be the Harry Potter man? <laughs> it's not about me right now, it's about all of you, and I want to speak to you about perception. My family are refugees from Vietnam, and during the war, when my family were going through difficult times, many people saw a dead end. My family saw a way out. You know, a week being out in the ocean, my family finally arrived at a refugee island, Palau Bidong, in Malaysia. And many people there saw hell. My family saw hope. And when they got to Australia, and Australia adopted my family, my dad calls Australia heaven on earth, many people saw impossible challenges that they had to overcome. My family saw an exciting new journey. You see, this is what fascinates me. We all have and share one reality, yet it can be perceived in so many different ways. And I want to prove this to you as a magician. I want to bring somebody up on stage, and I'll prove to you that even though we share one reality here, there is more than one way to perceive it. And I think someone just put their hand up. Could I give her a big round of applause as she joins me on stage? Thank you, good. Fantastic. And uh, what is your name? Chloe. Chloe, lovely to meet you, Chloe. Chloe, forget you to stand just here. It's not a trap door, don't worry. Chloe, this is the thing. I'm going to get you to close your eyes just now. Have you ever been hypnotized before? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Just close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, no, it's not about a chicken. Just close your eyes just for a second, Chloe. Good. Thank you. Now, this is the thing. When you're on stage, what I find fascinating about this is you see different things to the rest of the audience. And what I want you to do is something very simple. In a moment, I'm going to show you a board, and what you'll find is you will not be able to read the words that I show you, because it's not a word. It is just a group of random letters, and you don't have to doubt me. It is absolute truth. So I'm going to show you something now. Don't question it. Open your eyes. Now read what that says, into the mic, nice and loud, into the mic, do your best, into the mic. Hilarious. Try again, look closer and see, closely look into the mic and say it nice and loud into the mic. Try it again, nice and clear. Hilish looks. Good, Hilish looks, good, so just I'll show the audience as well. Hilish looks, if they can see just from the camera, and I will show you from behind me as well. Can everyone see that? Hilish looks. Absolutely fantastic. We'll try this one more time. It's going to get a little bit more difficult, except this time, if we could bring up the cameras as well as so everybody can see. I want you to try this one. It's a little bit more difficult. Try this one. Try reading this one. What does this one say? Nice and loud into the mic. Lao Kling Gli. Lao Kling Ji. Lao Kling Ji. Try that again. Point to it as you're reading it. Point to it. Lao Kling Ji. Good. Give her a big round of applause. She's doing fantastic. Good. <laughs> And now again, the pressure increases. Try this okay. again. Now, what's going to happen next is I'm going to show you another word. Now, the thing is, you will be able to read this one, except you won't understand um, why it seems to be the way it is. Uh, just read this nice and loud. What does this one say? Airplane. Airplane. Good. Let me show the audience. Airplane, ladies and gentlemen. Just uh, from the back of the airplane, quickly. The other side, if you don't mind. Thank you. Oh, they're just uh, switching the airplane, obviously. Good. Now, point to where it says air. Air. And point to where it says plane. Plane. Good. Now, the question is this. Do you think an elephant looks like an aeroplane at all by any chance? No. Good. Big round of applause for her. Fantastic. You're doing a great job. Good. Um, now, here's the thing. I want you to close your eyes and just bring your hand down and just relax as I speak to the audience. I love this. I find this so interesting. What Mike just said before, one of the tragic, most tragic things that's happened recently was the GFC global financial crisis. During this time, everybody saw doom and gloom, negativity. A lot of people, their businesses failed. But during this time, what I find fascinating, there were people who became extremely successful and soared. How is this possible? It's one reality we share. Shouldn't everybody see doom and gloom? No. The people who became successful, they chose to perceive and experience their reality their own way. What happened before was, um, Chloe, just by me saying to you, just keep your eyes closed again if you don't mind, by me saying to you that you cannot read it, what's fascinating about that situation is then you cannot read it because you just believed what I said. So this time, what I want you to do is I'm going to ask you to open your eyes in a moment, not yet, and just believe that you can read it regardless of what I say. I'll be very convincing and I'll say you cannot read it, but you can. Read this one, what does it say? Nice and loud, what does this say, Chloe? Hilarious. Good, you got that the first time right, and what was this one? Good, and this last one, what is it? Elephants. Big round of applause for you, an amazing job. Thank you so much as you make your way down, Chloe. Thank you so much. Thank you, brilliant. 
Isn't it frightening how much control we actually have over our own reality? I guess the old saying is absolutely correct. Whether you believe you can or you can't, you are right. I can tell you one thing for sure. Moving forward into the future, there will always be people who try to tell you to accept reality the way they see it, to accept their version of reality. And at that point, you have a very important decision to make. You can either believe what they say and make their reality your own, or you can choose to perceive reality the way you want to see it. And as of today, that choice is completely yours. Your future is in your hands. Good luck, my friends. Thank, Thank you. you.